Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you something about the water cycle. Now, you all know that water doesn't travel uphill. But, with a little help from the sun, it can. Because it's got to get up the hill in the first place to run down. So how does it do it? Well, this is explained in the water cycle. Now, wherever you start, remember it's a cycle. So wherever you start is not the beginning. It might be the end, it might be the middle. In fact, it's all. It's the middle, beginning and end. Let's start with the clouds. The clouds are water vapour. And clouds in the sky are formed by the evaporation of water from the sea and from the land, but mainly from the sea. And this water is evaporated due to the power which comes from the sun. The radiation from the sun causes this evaporation. It's also helped by the fact that it's windy and that is also something that comes from the sun. The sun, sun's energy creates winds and it creates evaporation. So we get evaporation into the clouds, clouds of water vapour. As the water vapour goes higher into the atmosphere, it cools down and as it cools down it forms droplets and droplets form as rain. The rain falls on the land, the land then through water runoff creates streams and then larger rivers and the water goes back to the sea. So really water does run uphill but it needs the power from the sun to do it. So the water cycle is in fact what the sun does for us. It turns the water through this cycle so that we can keep reusing the same water time and time again.